it's in our interest. Um, but at the same time, as I said, it's not in our interest to provide technology to China that could be used against us. And at a time when it's engaged in uh, a buildup of its nuclear weapons program in a very opaque way, when it's producing hypersonic missiles, when it's using technology for repressive purposes against its own people. We want to see growth. We want to see success in every part of the world, uh, including, of course, in the major economies like China. It's in our interest. Um, but at the same time, as I said, it's not in our interest to provide technology to China that could be used against us. And at a time when it's engaged in uh, a buildup of its nuclear weapons program in a very opaque way, when it's producing hypersonic missiles, when it's using technology for repressive purposes against its own people. Um, how is it in our interest to provide those specific technologies uh, to China? And other countries feel uh, the same way. We have no illusions about the challenges of managing this relationship. There are many issues on which we profoundly, even vehemently, disagree we will always take the best course of action to advance the interests of the American people. But the United States has a long history of successfully managing complicated, consequential relationships through diplomacy. One of the important things for me to do on this trip was to disabuse our Chinese hosts of the notion that we are seeking to economically contain them. We're not, uh, and as I've said, we are not about decoupling, we're about de-risking and diversifying.